the set on Floxa TV. Making an impact in life makes life beautiful. It's another beautiful day on the set. My name is Heritage Oyedebu. Today, I have a wonderful guest with me. Someone who has actually made so much impact in life. And I have no other person but Mr. Wale Akinleye. Good day, sir. How are you doing today, sir? Thank Yes, sir. Um, shortly, can you just show me through your background, sir? My name is uh, Wally okay. Akinleye. I'm an engineer of Bali. Okay, sir. And, uh, I'm an accountant by, accountant by profession. And of course, uh, in life, uh, you can but only walk through the paths that uh, the destiny has charted for you. As a young accountant, I ventured uh, into transportation uh, when I joined an organization who was a conglomerate, GZ Motors Limited in Lagos, uh, where I was introduced to the movement of transportation as a young man. And there, I picked interest, went through my certifications, and then became uh, a member of the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport of Nigeria, and of course, uh, the UK. So, to the glory of God, uh, in and out of the various companies, the ones that uh, I was part of, and also uh, before I joined the uh, Service of a place that I transport uh, company limited uh, as uh, operations manager before I eventually became a general manager of the organization. So I think I want to uh, thank God and thank uh, everyone that I work with. Alright, sir. So, what are the things you're passionate about? Well, uh, due to my orientation, I'm passionate about the things and the people around me. Okay. I'm passionate about the work that I do because I'm an operational person and I'm, you know, I want to see things uh, working in an organized manner. I want to see also people around me growing together with me because if you are growing alone, you find out when you need uh, someone to lean on, there will be nobody there for you. So it is extremely important. Uh, I grew up, growing up from a, you know, a very big family over here in the battle. We have uh, the, the motto of always, you know, you going from one household to the other to spend your holidays and, and the likes, and then you pick up a little bit here and there. And of course, because of my profession, I've worked uh, across all the geopolitical zones in Nigeria. And uh, funny enough, uh, there was a, a time that I had to cross the, the, the Gomboru border by road due to, you know, work. So what I'm trying to, to emphasize is that it is extremely important as a, uh, as a, as a man to ensure that uh, you build a colony of success around you so that you can always uh, uh, achieve uh, with your own effort and of course making sure that you are going in a symmetric fashion with other people that are around you. All right, sir. So, okay. You are the GM of PTS, right? So, what is the core objective of PTS? Okay, uh, let me let me give you a little background. Uh, Peseta Transport uh, Company, uh, formerly known as Transit Transportation Company okay. of Hold, uh, was created mainly to act as uh, a, a transport uh, buffer for 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 the states. What do I mean? The state government want to intervene in the transportation sector, the mass transit per se, without necessarily, you know, uh, chasing the private uh, people out of business, but to come as an interjection, as an intervention into the transportation sector. And uh, various governments have been coming, uh, you know, trying to achieve this. But the present government, through uh, His Excellency Governor Shei Makinde, is taking it a step further. What do I mean? Uh, the administration is trying to integrate the transportation system of the state, whereby we have all the other uh, private sector uh, transportation outfits coming in to feed a mass transit uh, uh, project. And that is why you have the terminal that is uh, being proposed and the one that has been uh, commissioned already, the one at Challenge and Ojo, and of course the one that will be commissioned at Uru, acting as a central and a, and a focal point to drive this transportation initiative. It is designed specifically for all the, uh, uh, the, the, 
feeder roads in the state and people, the commuters that are going, that are traveling, to be able to access transportation cheaper and safer from anywhere that you are coming from in the battle. And we are not talking of the battle, no, we are talking of the entire state. When you look at the, the terminal that was that is located at Ojo, it is expected to, to receive and process travelers from Bokyo and from the Bumo tribes of the state. Why the one at Chalet is expected to process people that are going to Oku State and of course Lagos State. And the one that the, the bigger one which is at the world is expected to process even bigger vehicles. So what are we trying to say? Transportation is a big economic driven uh, driver in the in any sector. You know, because anybody can decide to do whatever they are doing, but transportation is not uh, a, a comfort, it's a necessity. You have to move mobility of people from one place and we eventually drive the economy of the state. So this is the, the approach that this government is taking and this is why PTS is, uh, you know, choosing to drive this initiative as a transportation company of your state. So what we are doing here, basically, is to take the vision of uh, the vision of His Excellency and then, you know, put it into operation, ensure that all these buses are always on the road, uh, uh, you know, uh, the routes that we have designed them for, the number of buses that are supposed to run on this route. So this is exactly what BTS is all about. And to ensure, mark my word, to ensure that this adopt is done in an affordable manner, okay. not to, you know, uh, call the truth. And uh, again, one of the core objectives of uh, Oil State Press Center is to as a stabilization for cost of transportation. Because wherever you see our buses, where uh, in, in the places that people are, the other people are trying to rip the, the populace of our buses bring down the prices and then they reasonably also come down to, to the commuters and then everybody have a win-win situation. So this is the core objective of the uh, Oil State Based Center Transportation Company under the able uh, leadership of our chairman, So we, as a transport company, we are using our expertise to ensure that these buses are on the road, they are being uh, taken care of as an answer to All right, thank you so much, sir. So can you give an insight to the challenges you have in PTS at large? Okay, uh, the challenges in PTS, I would not say in PTS, but let okay. me say in, in our transport operation. Okay. Because, you know, like I said, uh, we have the other people who are running uh, buses, the Micra and the, and the interstate buses yes. and what have you. So the challenges has been, you know, the, 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 the way and manner that we relate with each other. Because, you know, our bus is a big bus, even private people. We've had instances since this short, uh, uh, about a couple of months ago that we rolled out whereby all these people are not very patient trying to, you know, uh, uh, overtake our boss or saying that this is their own uh, right of way. But we, we are, we are, we are owned by the government. So we always try to uh, leverage on uh, what this administration stand, stand for, which is, uh, you know, the, the tripod of uh, His Excellency's uh, uh, mantra, which is uh, logic, data, and science. So we, 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 we utilize this a lot in dealing with the larger uh, community. Okay, sir. Thank you. You've been into um, you've been the GM for PTS for how long? Well, uh, to the glory of God, uh, I was a GM uh, before, and then His Excellency Governor Oshie Makinde, in his magnanimity, uh, brought me back uh, to uh, become GM back here in 2020. So uh, I joined the services of the State Center. So you can say in and out of the years since 2013. So can you differentiate? Is there any difference between the administration? Definitely a very, a very, a very, a very, a very huge difference because okay. you know the, the focal point of this administration is what I have. Uh, I, I, I have. Uh, I'm at the focus is, is by far different. The focus of this administration is to ensure that transportation plays a major role. In driving the economy of the state, okay. in driving the, that is why you see that we, uh, when all other states are banning Okada here, banning there, rather than doing that and taking people into hardship 
this administration has said no, we are going to fashion out a way to dissuade people okay. and persuade them that we can have a better uh, means way means of transportation. And that is why these buses are were procured. And that is why these buses were deployed in the fourth system, to provide a safer, more comfortable means of traveling and transport for people. So uh, you, uh, the, the, so many people, even apart from the ones that were using to commute on the road uh, for, for the intracity, the people still come here to come and charter these buses for their various social functions and, you know, to, to bring them for the state. So it's, uh, it's been an awesome experience uh, uh, working with this administration because, and of course, the welfare of the staff. Yeah. And you see this beauty, uh, it was not like this before this administration okay. came into play. You see the environment, it was not like this before this administration comes into play. Since the inception of the administration of the, uh, of this board, headed by our able chairman, or Ebu Adeleke, the same way uh, that our Excellency Governor Shirimakida has been paying the salary of the staff on the 25th of every month. Is the uh, what uh, also we are doing here, and then we have a very good and harmonious relationship with the, with the staff of the Peseta Transport. All right, thank you, sir. In October 2020, the Oyo State Government approved the purchase of 106 buses, and in April this year, the Governor came to inspect the buses. Has this bus started working? Yeah, it was launched together the same day that uh, the terminal was launched at the okay. job and also at Challenger. We flagged up the Omitutu Mass Transit uh, Initiative, uh, which has been, uh, you know, been on the on the highways of Ibadan uh, metropolis. Actually, the, the 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 rollout of the buses were in, are in phases. What do I mean? Because we don't want to. This is a this is a high volume, high capacity buses. Uh, we have a 56 seater bus, okay. and about 20 people can you know stand in the bus because it's a city ride. Now, if we push all these buses into the into the road all at once, it will impact on on other uh, private uh, 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 vehicle owners. So that is why we are doing it in phases. And of course, the infrastructure, the road infrastructure. You see, some of the roads have been expanded where we want to go. For example, the local road. Okay. Now we have uh, the the Akobo Aziz, which bridge is done so we can deploy our buses there. So as the infrastructure is being worked out by the state, we also as a company, as the driver of this uh, vision, I mean, you know, we're also you know, working along with His Excellency's uh, uh, approach. So we believe that uh, in very short time, all the, all the look and carry of the battle. And of course, we are working at deploying some of them we have some that are the fourth sisters to go also within the intercity within the states so that we can connect uh, major cities, Shaki, Obomo, Shoi, Shei, and, uh, and Oyo. And, you know, of course, by the time we do this, all the, the would have blanket the entire state with our operation. All right, so let's go personally. You were given an honorary award the, as the Akongo of Nata. What is the rationale behind that? Okay, uh, as a transporter, okay. uh, you know, as, a, as a logistics person, uh, we, we have access to modern technologies and modern techniques of uh, vehicle repair. You have the diagnostic, the, the mechatronics, and what have you. So, what I, I took it upon myself to try and pass this knowledge to the mechanic association in, in the community, especially in Akinele, where I come from. So, in view of doing this, from time to time, we organize workshops and training for them. These are new tools that are, you know, that are being fabricated. This is how to use them. These are diagnosis equipment. You don't have to necessarily have a showroom or a big uh, warehouse before you can use electronic sure. diagnostic. Equipment. So, while I was doing this just to aid the people in the community, so the National Association of uh, uh, Automobile Technicians didn't it fit that they should uh, honor me with that. And I'm grateful and I'm glad that. That right, sir. Okay, you also you also received the Omolua B Award for your impact in community service. Lead us into the services and how well have you impacted? 
Well, like I said, I'm uh, from Badu. Okay. I was born uh, in Adwoi Hospital. I'm not that good man that I was born before these hospitals came. So what I'm trying to say is that from, from the way we are brought up, no matter how far I have gone in life, there are basic things that must show that this person who is an uncle that is well brought up, whatever position that you get in life, sure. you must always exhibit it. Otherwise, uh, it's not easy to run uh, transportation, especially when you have uh, you know, certain categories of people that set down this. But how you behave, how you interact with them, also in the community, that you created a platform which was my initiative to see to what uh, what is uh, the needs of the community. You know, so I think uh, perhaps some people are noticing all this. It was not me that was uh, advocating for it. So they called me up and said they wanted to give me an award. I said, uh, I'm that. I said, well, it's all good. It's a welcome. Uh, you know, so I so, are you confident of Governor Shiri Makinde's re-election? When you look at, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm an accountant, like okay. I said, yeah. and perhaps maybe my my training as an accountant helped me in transportation economics and what have you. And of course, I'm a certified uh, uh, transport expert. The approach that Governor Shiri Makinde has given governors is it's novel. You know, it's it's it's, it's different from what you see from everyday politician or even someone who is a businessman. He has he has brought what you call human face. He has interpolated with his idea, maybe as an entrepreneur, and also as as someone who has traveled far. You see all the innovations that he's bringing, people has have started realizing what the vision of governorship market is. And for me, he has excelled in most critical areas, humanity. You see, everybody in the state is not complaining that there are no salary payment because he is driven the economy with basic indicators. When you when there is money in the economy, he turns it around. When you have good transportation networks, he hoists the economy. You know, and all these things that he's doing, the the health the healthcare uh, service where he has taken the first person to take the initiative to have uh, uh, healthcare centers in all the worlds within the state. So for me, I'm confident that this is the kind of government that you want to continue because of what he has done. So, um, all right, so as 2023 election is approaching, what's your advice to your state and Nigerian voters at large? Uh, Nigeria is at crossroads right now. Yes, we cannot get it wrong. We cannot afford to get it wrong. So, and Governor Shimakinde has been advising uh, the other state populations as to how to you know, choose uh, even at the, at the center and as even the other state uh, uh, people, the uh, quality uh, people to, to vote for so that we can move ahead in the state. So uh, I just want to implore our people to uh, vote for continuity of this excellence market so that we can have uh, how I, I know people who have left their political parties and then you know come to join the market so that the, the state can, can can move forward. So I'm very sure and I'm confident that His Excellency is going to be uh, returned by the special grace of God and that the good people of those states will cast their vote and mass for them so that we can have uh, another good or better four years of this administration. All right, thank you, sir. So, in the next five years, what's your aim? What do you, where do you intend to be? Ah, my aim is to continue to serve uh, the good people of your state yes, uh, under the tutelage of His Excellency, of course, my good chairman here, so that we can give the people what they really deserve because we have so much idea uh, as to how to further improve the transportation sector of the state. So by the special gift of God, God will make this uh, happen. All right, we hope next time when we call on to you, definitely answer us. Sure, sure, sure. It's been nice uh, and comfortable talking to you.
All right, thank you so much for your time, sir. And that was a beautiful section with Mr. Wale Akinleye. Join me next time on the seat, and I remain your host, Heritage Oedipo. Have a wonderful day. On the seat, on Floxa TV.